Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today we're going to talk about technology, but we're going to talk about a specific aspect of technology. We're going to talk about how to reset the brain if you are on the computer too long. And there's a lot of reasons why you want to do this, because if you don't, then you're uh, rewiring your brain for a very, very small attention span. I think I mentioned to you that the attention span of a goldfish is nine seconds, and the attention span of most children now and young adults and even adults is six seconds. So it's pretty sad. And the reason being is you're in front of that computer, you're in front of that phone, you're in front of that video game way too long, way too many hours. So to protect your brain, you, you want to reset it. The ideal thing is that you should re be resetting it every hour for between five and 10 minutes. Now you're probably gonna gasp in horror and say, oh my gosh, you can't take away that much time. Well, think about your brain. I mean, do you wanna keep it intact? Do you wanna be able to learn things? Do you wanna be able to absorb information and keep that information intact in your brain and remember it? If so, if your answer is yes, then you better reset your brain. Now, these ideas work for both children and adults because kids need to have their, their brains reset as well. And the other thing is, um, this is actually scientific information. It's not information that somebody decided, well, oh, this is how you can do it. And I'll give you the sources in a minute. So one of the things that you can, one of the things that you can do is to take a walk in nature. Okay, if it's during uh, the time of the year that you can get outside, if you're in a job or whatever you can do, get outside and take your stopwatch, your watch with you and look and see and for 10 minutes just go on this walk. It's going to re revigorate you. It's going to make you feel better. When you do come back to the computer, you're going to be looking at it through new eyes because you've reset the brain and it's ready to go. Now, let's say that you live in an area that you have the four seasons. It's winter time. You can't get out outside. You don't want to slosh through the snow. There was a study that was done at the University of Michigan at Ann Arbor, and they found that even looking at pictures from nature, even though it's a two-dimensional uh, object, you're actually holding it. So that if you look at those pictures from nature, some beautiful pictures from nature, that that will actually help to reset your brain as well. Now, another thing is to listen to classical music for 10 minutes. Now, I don't know why necessarily classical music, because probably because of the complexity of the music, it really helps to put your brain on fire and to have it work on all four cylinders. So that would be another thing that you could listen to. Now, what I would do is, if I were you, is I would listen to some kind of music, mainly from the Baroque or classical period, meaning something from Handel, from Bach, or from Mozart or Beethoven. One of my very, very favorite pieces from Beethoven is the Violin Concerto and D for two, uh, violin concerto in D. It's absolutely incredible. I've heard it play in the uh, played in the malls before, and it's like I just have to stop because the music is so stunningly beautiful. Start with the third movement. That will take you about five or six minutes to listen to. It's magnificent. You will love it. Okay. Another thing is you can take a hot bath or a hot shower. Now, if you're, if you're at home, you could feasibly do this. It'd be a little bit difficult to do it on the job. But just keep in mind that keep, you know, taking a bath or a shower, that 10 minutes of just getting some R&R &R in, getting away from that flat screen, that two-dimensional screen, because we do live in a three-dimensional world. You've got to get back into that three-dimensional world and reset your brain. Another thing that they said is they found if people laugh out loud, they said, get not an ebook but a three-dimensional book that is filled with jokes and funny things that you can sit there and turn the pages and read it and laugh out loud. If you feel embarrassed to laugh out loud in front of your colleagues, then go out to your car and read the book and laugh out loud there. If you're at home with your children, teach them that one of the ways you're going to reset your brain is you're going to laugh out loud. And that's a fun one because I would imagine that that helps more than just resetting the brain. Another thing that um, this was not included in the list of the books that I read, and I'm going to uh, do this as a bonus tip. And this is what's called Super Brain Yoga. You can Google it and you can actually go onto um, one of my blogs and I have the link to it. And if you go down into the uh, description section, you'll find that link. Super Brain Yoga is pretty amazing. It's uh, 
you do it very simply. I'll tell you how to do it. They talk about, it was part of a news broadcast as well, but a friend told me about it, that she and her family, uh, there was a problem in their family that their memory started going at a very early age. And so what they did as an entire family, they did super brain yoga because it helped with memory, it helped with brain organization, it helped with balancing the brain, the left and the right sides of the brain. It was amazing. And just based on what I've had experience with it, I really think that it can help reset the brain. So you take your hand, your left hand, and you put it over to your right ear. You take your right hand, your right hand is always on top, and it's over to your left ear. Then you're going to go down and up. You're going to bend your knees like you're doing a squat. When you go down, you're uh, breathing in, and when you come up, you're breathing out. So it looks like this. It's going... And you breathe everything out, get all that carbon dioxide out of your lungs. And you do that for about 15 times. Now you're probably thinking, well, I'm going to hyperventilate, hyperventilate and faint. No, you won't. It's amazing. In fact, if you can use this for a number of things, if you forgot your keys or you forgot why you went into a room or you forgot whatever you were doing, do super, super brain yoga. I promise you it'll come back to you. And to me, it's an amazing way to reset the brain. Okay, here's a couple of books that you may be interested in reading about all the dangers of technology. What the internet, sa <clears throat> the internet is doing to our brains is the shallows. And this is Nicholas Carr, and he is a New York Times bestseller. This one is Eye Disorder by Larry Rosen. And he also talks, and they, they talk, both of them talk about all the problems with too much technology, but then, then they also both talk about the ways that you can reset the brain so you're not harming your brain. You want to do this for yourself, and you want to do this for your kids, because you want to be able to be able to learn all, your entire life. That will bring you a lot of joy and happiness and pleasure. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.